Okay, we're going to make this a little less boring, I guess. We're going to go just a few topics that are interesting over the week. I'm not going to go over everyone's team, everyone's game, everyone's point scoring, okay? Because I, I can see that's probably boring. Anyway, go Royals! Rock and roll! This is so cool. Who's buying World Series? I mean, ALSC, whatever tickets. Who's going to the World Series if you get picked in the lottery thing or whatever? Love to see who's going. Anyway, okay, back to this interesting week of fantasy football. Um, I just wanted to say to one team, I don't know how. Oh, wait, did you win? You're 5 and 1, Du Bois. And I think you set a record. And I don't really like to brag for you, as you know, but, Robert, your team, like, holy cow, what did you finish with? 230 and point eight one eight five. so 231 points. I think you just set a record in all my leagues. I, I think the previous record might have been two, maybe 220, 225, I'll have to look it up. But that is just amazing. And it's not like you had, like, a 50-pointer anywhere. You had just 30, 30, 30. Oh, you did have 42. That is sick. Oh, and your kicker. 23 from your kicker. 22 from your defense. That's that's like a nut job, man. You're gonna If you don't win next, if you win, if you lose next week, I understand. You just nutted this week. Go to bed. Yeah, you have to wait a second. Um, next. Uh, Gilkison, hey man, never leave Kendall right on your bench. He should always start. <laughs> I'm just teasing, man. <laughs> you have such a decision to make. You got Crabtree, Steve Smith, Terrence Williams, and Kendall Wright to choose from on who to start. Hey, can you get the door? And uh, who's your type? Jimmy Graham and Delaney Walker. So you got tough decisions to make, and I understand your pain that you can't start, you know, six wide receivers and all your tight ends. So it sucks when you pick the wrong guy. I feel you. Not that it will, probably would have mattered. Cobra Kai winning to Dragon Balls and not even scoring 100 points. What? That's it. That's all I can say. What? Next. Um, TD Racing. Whatever. Banana Hot see you won, and you just upgraded your team to a better quarterback. Oh, and FYI, ooh, actually, did you win? Um, did you know that, let's see here, did you know that Alex Smith's touchdown has been reversed? So you still would have won, but barely. Get away. Alex Smith's touchdown to uh, DeAnthony Thomas has been changed to a rushing touchdown. So his your points aren't gonna change the vic, the scoring of your uh, lot, win or loss. You still would have won, but just saying, <clears throat> it would have been closer now. Uh, Factory of Sadness got blown out of the water by Old Influence. Old Influence finally. I mean, is your team? Let me look at your team. Old Influence is three and three. You're actually putting up good points. You got 780 points total for the year. Which is a is it second most? You are you got old influence. You have second highest points in the league. Good job. Uh, that's about it. I can't think of anything else to say. If there's anything else spectacular going on, TD Racing beat Orkin. Nothing. So uh, that's short and sweet. Isn't that awesome? Uh, Pickums. There are three weeks left. And it's still pretty tight between probably four teams. Old Influence is up by two. Cobra Kai is down in second. Factory of Sadness is three games back. And TD Racing is four games back. And the rest is pretty much shooting for the sky. That's about it. Oh, did you see that trade I made with, with uh, Banana Hot Sea? Yeah. We'll see if it helps. He's in my division, so it was really risky making a trade with somebody in my division. But I think Roddy White should have a, a better season up ahead. I don't know why he's not been getting what he should be getting. But, you know, I, I like the trade. I still got my good quarterback. I think that's it. Am I missing anything? Oh, the Royals again. Rock on.